Health experts concerned about a blood donation shortage in the valley. About 10% of eligible people donate blood nationwide, but in the Rio Grande Valley, that number is closer to 2%. Arolfa Cuadros visits a local donation center and finds few donors willing to make a difference. We may never know if we'll be part of a life-changing accident, but we can take steps to save a life. We visit the Vitalant Donation Center in McAllen. We find that the valley is in serious need of blood units. January may be a high donor season. We found only a few looking to make a difference. We're winter Texans and we're from Canada, so we thought it would be um, a good idea to help out with the blood services. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood, and the Rio Grande Valley is falling behind on donations. Around the country, about 5% of eligible donors donate blood. Here in the valley, it's only 2%. The process is simple and takes about an hour for typical whole blood donation. We're told one donation can save up to three lives. This product cannot be manufactured in a factory. We have to get it from someone who's willing, volunteers, comes in. Someone needs your help. And even though hospitals are in high demand of type O blood due to its universal nature, centers like these will take in all eligible donations. I know if I were in a car accident and needed blood, I'd certainly appreciate those that I'd given. It may be a small pinch at first, but it's a small price to pay in order to save a life. From McAllen, Alfredo Cuadros, KBEO, Local 23 News. Alfredo doing his part there. Well, blood donors must be at least 16 years old, weigh at least 110 pounds, and be in good health.